Hey now, it's Dao, and welcome back to another video. Oh my gosh, guys, before this video starts, please don't mind my cap. It's a bit off center. Please don't get mad about me. I just, I just did this in one take, so I hope you guys enjoy. So I didn't get to do a graduation speech at my school, which is completely fine. I wanted to do a video because it would have been more more memorable, I guess, because I could look back upon it, you guys could look back upon it. And I just wanted to make this simple. I was going to make a video with a lot of editing and all that, but I feel like it shouldn't be that. It should be just natural and just come straight from the heart and from my experiences. Um, so I'm gonna do a speech for you guys, or well, not a speech, but it's just gonna be another video, but with me wearing this stuff, fancy stuff. Alright, so <clears throat> I've learned four things throughout the four years of my high school career. Each year I learned a new thing. So I wanted to start off with freshman year, ooh, <clears throat> so I entered as a very little boy, <clears throat> in middle school I was really short and yeah, my parents were like scared that I wouldn't grow or just do, or just, yeah, just be short and live up to that Asian stereotype, which is completely fine. I didn't really care. I was just like, if I grow, I grow because it's all mainly genetics and your willingness to eat. <laughs> Anyways, freshman year. I was a little boy and I was really shy, like completely shy, but um, I was in band, or I was going to be in band, and before school even started, we already had band camp, which is where like we just prepare for field shows and stuff um, for the following year, the fall semester, and um, I honestly came in there with actually some confidence. Um, because my sister already went there and I already knew a few people there, I, I came in pretty confidently like, oh, I know these seniors, I know these juniors, I'm pretty cool. But at a point it hit me where those people didn't really care about me because I was a freshman or they didn't really care me, about me in general. Well, they kind of did, but I had to build, build something that I never thought I would ever build. And um, uh, I started to dance because, you know, Gundam style, that was a thing my freshman year, 2012? Yeah, 2012, yeah, 2013. And it was, yeah, I guess I just did it one day at a party, like a little band party, and then everyone started hyping me up, and I was like, oh, yeah. I was really happy, and I was like, dang, dude, is this what it really feels like to, I mean, be acknowledged and be actually looked to be actually recognized and it's crazy. So I think the first thing I learned or like throughout my whole freshman year was being open and just being out there more. And you guys should honestly do that. It really helps. You build confidence, um, respect, all these things. It's really good. Moving on to sophomore year. Oh man, oh man. <laughs> sophomore year was Ooh, okay, so sophomore year was when I experienced my first type of feels. My I started developing feelings for someone, and it got to the point where it was pretty serious. Um, honestly, oh man, I it was a great experience. Honestly, um, just being in, in love with someone and. It's kind of, it was weird because I never honestly experienced it and I was just so distracted. It actually kind of distracted me in my education a little bit, but yeah, so <clears throat> if you guys are going to get in a relationship in high school, just try and balance yourself out, know your limits, but honestly, you're going to have to experience the immature stages of a relationship, which is being obsessive impulsive and just wanting so much attention from that other person that you start hurting yourself without even knowing it. Honestly, it's not a bad thing. It's just a learning experience, right? Um, so sophomore year was definitely 
a milestone of love and experiencing what love is and how it could hurt you and how it could benefit you. Um, I mean, the benefits are just, I mean, you have someone to like care about and they actually care about you too. And it's, it's kind of mysterious and it, that's what it's really cool about life in general. You know, you meet so many people out there and there's just one person that will, after experiencing with many other people, <laughs> but yeah. Sophomore year was definitely my milestone of love. Junior year, whew, junior year was awesome. I think that was probably my best year yet. Um, I, it was a moment of self-discovery. I took psychology, oh my god, that class made me so, made me reflect about myself so much and about society and everyone and how they react. I was like, whoa, like, it really motivated me, inspired me a lot, and it was crazy. Um, and then I took language composition, which helped me become a better writer and just analyze pieces of pieces of what people are trying to tell you. It's like reading in between the lines, you know, it's kind of hard to explain because this cap is a bit suffocating right now, but I'll continue on. Sorry guys, I just, I'm just so nervous and like so, I have so many emotions right now, it's crazy. But yeah, I'll try, I'll try to stay on top and I'm sick too. <laughs> but um, anyways, junior year was definitely a moment of self-discovery. I, I became even more open. It, it just attributed to all my other milestones that I've um, learned from. And it's aw awesome, you know. Um, I met more people. I performed in a play which I've never done before. Well, musically. It was, it was really fun. Um, so thank you to the cast of Godspell and all my friends that made it happen. It was definitely my best experience, as on top of winning state championships for band after getting last place, or 10th place technically in the finals. Crazy, crazy year. Um, and then senior year, woo! Yeah, the time of relaxing, the time of just chilling out and waiting to graduate. Honestly, please don't follow that method. It's not the best. I mean, you can have fun and relax, but if you're doing it to the point every single day, or at least the majority of the week, you're going to be really bored, and a lot of time is going to be wasted, in my opinion, because, yeah, I've seen people just do nothing, and I'm like, how do you do nothing for, like, 200-something days or so, and, yeah, um, so I kept myself really busy senior year, I took a lot of, I took even more AP classes than last year, junior year, and... Uh, I took college courses and I passed those with A's and all that. Just yeah, letters are cool and all, but honestly, it's a time where you're like, B's are actually pretty nice too, and sometimes C's. You know, it's just it all depends on your perspective, which I learned from last year, junior year, perspective. And but but yeah, um, senior year, crazy, crazy, crazy. Um, Applying to colleges was hard. I honestly didn't want to get help from others because, I don't know, it's just kind of my mental perspective of I want to just try and do it myself. I want to just, I deserve what I put into it and I think it paid off. Um, got into UC Santa Barbara and I am going there. So if you are going there, oh, I'll see you there. Woo, party, nope. Mm -mm. Education first. <laughs> Anyways, senior year. Oh man, I met so many people senior year, like, it's crazy how much and how many people I met and how how many memories and bonds and friendships that have been mended together. It was honestly really heartwarming to just have more people to look out for in the future and just develop connections because connections is really important. It is. Um, it keeps you happy. Not. It's not just for your financial benefits or your. It's for your own internal emotional benefit, and that's really important. Um, and honestly, I wanted to leave a legacy for my senior year, 
for my band friends, for everyone that I have been touched by in my life. My teachers, um, they were a definite beneficial asset and they are still in my mind and heart today. I try not to get emotional, but I am a soul, uh, yes. I'll just, I'm fine. But yeah, senior year, definitely I left a legacy, I believe. People actually watch my videos, oh my god, I was like, what? People watch me? And it's just so heartwarming, and then other people outside of my school notice me, and it was crazy. Connor Phantom noticed me, and I was so happy, but anyways. All in all, guys, every four years, every year, just think and reflect to yourself one thing that has created you, who has definitely shaped you, and just, yeah, appreciate it, cope with it, and build more experiences and more milestones, more learning experiences, acquire, acquire, yeah, what am I saying, okay, sorry, <laughs> um, but yeah, um, honestly, I didn't have a speech written out, I just had the four milestones, and I was just speaking from my plethora of anecdotes, which is a bit, it's cool, you know, you guys, I don't really tell you guys much, and I don't think in this video I just kind of generalize some things, but, uh, I'm so thankful for Everyone, my friends, my family, teachers. I've had a great life, <laughs> a great four years, and it's been fast. I think the last year, senior year, is so fast. But I'm gonna stop saying what's on my mind, or I'm gonna start stop. I'm gonna stop saying random things, and I'm gonna conclude it with big thank you, YouTube. I mean. I don't have that many subscribers, but the people who watch it really make me happy. And I'm so thankful for everything. I have friends in every realm. It's like really cool. So definitely you guys just do your best. Um, I know that the cliches are there, but there's a reason why they're cliches because they have worked for so many people. But don't let, don't let it get to the point where you don't try because you honestly have to try. Don't work too hard and mindlessly and just work smart, do what you love, find what you love, and just appreciate every day you have and make the best of it. Um, as I move on to college, I'll still keep in contact with all you guys, or at least I'll try to through my videos. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace. Yo! British Airways and um, um, I'm currently waiting it's 6 p.m. and um, it's 5.52 p.m. so um, right here are my friends they are currently um, they purchased a lot of food 